Ahmed, uh, this is CNN TV live right here at the capital city of Nigeria, Abuja. So with me today uh, is Mohamed Bello. Uh, Mohamed Bello is the founder of Bello Kano. Uh, is a platform that really uh, into uh, a lot of things, logistics and all the rest of that. And also they use a uh, cryptocurrency uh, for payment as well. So and he has also has a community where he, he trains uh, people about uh, cryptocurrency. So he's here to explain more. Uh, and it's my pleasure meeting you, uh, Mohamed Bello. Nice to meet you too. Uh, it's our pleasure. So, uh, what would you say about uh, Bello Kano? What actually are you doing with this uh, platform? Well, actually, uh, my name is Mohamed Bello, and uh, I was born and raised in Kano, and uh, I have seen a lot of opportunity in the Nigerian economy, and uh, a lot of people needed these platforms for it to be provided for them to take advantage of. So, we started with. Um, Initially, I started with e-commerce, and I discovered that e-commerce has not been really getting ground in uh, the city where I come from, that's Kano, and especially the people I'm dealing with, um, the common and the grassroots people. So I decided to like uh, uh, provide a platform, uh, like to create a digital market, a market by which young entrepreneurs will get shops and um, start up their own businesses. They, basically, they are for startups, and uh, from there we get to expose them to educate them more about uh, cryptocurrency because uh to show them how because even in the market we started accepting cryptos like bitcoin uh, ethereum and uh, bnb so recently we have added a uh, cardano that can be used to pay for rent and uh, also we provided uh what do you call it digital uh, identity uh, that is digital um, data capturing for telecos for market associations for uh, national identification national identity management commission also so we are partner we are collecting this data for people that cannot even create accounts and so on so we go to villages and get their data captured and create bvn for them and also we are into logistics and uh, logistics we create jobs actually and uh, we are into media and many more uh, basically, that's what we do for number. Actually, we have this uh, now large number of community because to me, we have created um, not less than 2,000 people on our platform and uh, we are educating them, especially with the new economy, with the new way of financing. Uh, we help them make payment remittances internationally and uh, we also show them the use of blockchain, especially now that things have begun to metamorphose they have begun to change from the conventional way of doing things to the new economy that's what i call the blockchain and uh, other cryptocurrencies the new economy uh, that's a very good one yes. <laughs> so uh, let's look at uh, you know you, you're trying to build this community and also educate people about uh, blockchain about uh, cryptocurrency how what are some of the challenges that you're encountering uh, educating these people about this ecosystem okay you know uh, basically uh, this is what i love doing and uh, i know that we cannot just try to change people without facing challenges i will simply tell you something when cars were invented the steering wheel they were using the, the steering wheels was invented 40 years when the cars were, were was produced so it means whenever you introduce something into the society you need a lot of education to get them uh, understand the system and get it adopted into their own system so for now it's not going to be easy but alhamdulillah things have changed people are willing to uh, join the system because i believe now a new economy has been created that everybody now don't need to go to the government and start looking for jobs now people have ad uh, accept or embrace uh, um, blockchain technology and this is what they use now to create for themselves wealth and also add more value to the Nigerian economy. Okay, interesting. Uh, let me uh, hear from you. Uh, how, how do you think, uh, what should be done uh, to educate more people since you are already into it? And how do you think, you know, a lot of people are hearing about blockchain and I'm happy that you are integrate, integrating blockchain into logistics and all the rest of them. How actually can all these companies um, be educated to understand how to implement a blockchain 
into their businesses like the logistics and other sectors in real estate how do you think should uh, they should be able to embrace that you know no matter what you do in this life you are in sales you sell and you have to accept money and what customers need is the easiest way of making payment I don't want to buy something online and I have to go to the bank and make transfer. I don't have to even start bringing out my ATM card and putting the numbers. No. Things have changed. With QR code, with the blockchain technology, you will be able to buy whatever it is. So whatever you are doing now, the education matters. And that you cannot be educated without going to the educators. Educators are the ones who provide the platform for people to come and learn new things until they prepare their mind to do it because the knowledge is already there. Blockchain technology started way back 2009 and today we are in 2021, almost 10 years ago. Things have begun to change and they will eventually change you. One thing I want to tell you something is you cannot take away blockchain from your country, but you can take away your country from blockchain but you cannot take away blockchain from your country whatever you do you have to keep record trans of transacting who owns what at what particular time and how do you get this thing transacted how do you get things uh, how do you get it um validated the transaction so people need to be educated and this education doesn't come uh free it is only going to be possible through partnership you that you are in uh, coin news we come we come together we partner we spread the knowledge to the people who are less privileged to access this kind of information so we make it easier for them and they will easily get it accessible interesting one they say you cannot take away blockchain mm. from your country but you can take away your country from blockchain that's a very nice one there uh, let me hear from you lastly uh, how do you see the future of Belo Cano? What do you uh, have in mind? Uh, how do you see Belo Cano to be like in the next uh, five years or thereabouts? Well, actually, uh, like I always say, um, it takes 18 good years for you to build a reputable business. And uh, from now, we started way back, but we have learned our lesson. In the next 20 years, I see my own company as one of the biggest conglomerates in Africa, just like Alibaba in China and Amazon in America. That's what we see, the in the next coming years. <laughs> That's a very nice one. Uh, that's a very uh, nice uh, uh, projection. Project. Uh, I really appreciate that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is CNE TV Live in Abuja. It has really been an amazing time out with uh, Mohammed Bello, the founder of uh, Bello Kano. Thank you very much for amazing time. Thank you, stay blessed. Okay. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Thank you.